For the following exercise, evaluate the function f at the indicated values. The first one will be f of negative 3. All right, so our job basically is to take this particular function that they gave us and try to find out the f of negative 3. All right, so we can follow these steps at the bottom, all right, as I've listed. And the first step is to uh, take the indicated f of x value that they've told us and just plug it on in for f of x, okay? So what I'll do is I'm actually going to rewrite this just so you can see everything piece by piece on every step. 5x squared plus 2x minus 1. So the first thing is, as I mentioned, I'm going to substitute in now my f of negative 3 in for my f of x. And now after I do that, what I'm going to do now on the right hand side is everywhere I see x, I'm going to substitute the indicated x value that they told me of negative 3. All right, that's step two. So here now it's going to be negative 5 multiplied by negative 3 squared plus 2 times negative 3 minus 1. Great. So now that's it. I mean, now all we have to do is just simplify this, right? So this is, so I'll, I'll do this in a series of steps, right? So negative 3 squared is going to be positive 9. Positive 9 multiplied by negative 5 is going to be negative 45. Okay, this is going to be a negative 6. So minus 6 minus 1. Right, so this works out to be a full addition of negative numbers, basically. So this is minus 3. And what do we get when we summate all this? We're going to get negative 52. All right. So that is the answer to number 1. Let's take a look at number 2. So same process. Let's rewrite the function f of x is equal to negative 5x squared plus 2x minus 1. Now what I'm going to do is, for my second example, substitute in f of negative 2. So for f of x, I substitute f of negative 2. And now everywhere on the right-hand side, wherever I see x, I'm going to plug in the value of 2. Great. Now I'm going to simplify if I can. So this 2 squared is 4. 4 times a negative 5 is going to be a negative 20. Plus then 2 times 2 is 4 minus 1. So here we go. Right, Just adding this all together, what do we get? We should get a negative 17. And that's the answer there. All right, moving on, right, number three. Again, rewrite the function f of x is equal to negative 5x squared plus, two, plus 2x minus 1. Now we're going to substitute in the value of f of negative a. No worries, it seems scary, but follow the process. Substitute in f of negative a, and this thing right in here represents your x value. So your x value is negative a. It sounds weird and it might feel weird. However, it's the same process as what we were doing over here. We're just taking whatever was in those parentheses and substituting it on in for x. So this is negative 5 multiplied by negative a squared plus 2 times negative a minus 1. And now we're going to simplify if we can. All right. So negative a times negative a is a positive a squared. And a positive a squared multiplied then by negative 5 is going to be a negative 5 a squared. And this will then be minus 2a minus 1. And there's nowhere else we can simplify this. So this just works out to a basic quadratic. Notice it's basically the same thing as we had here, just instead of x, it's a. All right. Numero 4. So now, uh, same thing. Write the formula out. So f of x is equal to negative 5x, negative 5x squared plus 2x minus 1. Now we have to substitute negative f of a. So what they're telling us is basically take this function and make it negative. That's the first thing they're saying. And then not only make this whole function negative, but also wherever you see your x value, plug in a. Okay, that's really what they're telling us to do. So now what I need to do is, again, the first thing I said was they're telling us to make this whole function negative. And this whole function is equal to this whole thing. So therefore, now I have to make this whole thing also negative. So I'm going to put a little negative sign there and brackets. Okay, because I'm trying to show that I'm going to make this whole thing negative. After you do that, now all we have to do is just plug in our values. All right, so this is negative 5. Remember, it's not x anymore. They want it to be a. They want us to evaluate it at a. So this is then a squared plus 2 times a minus 1. And here we go. Oops, 
<laughs> that's an A in there. And now all we have to do is just basically distribute the negative sign right to all three terms, simplify this. So this becomes 5A squared minus 2A plus 1. And that is then the value of that one. All right, last but not least, let's take a look at number five. I'll put it right below here. And what do we got? Okay, so again, rewrite the function. All right, I'm very particular, as you can see. I don't like to skip any steps. Plus 2x minus 1. So here now, we're evaluating at f of a plus h. No big deal. No big deal at all. Just plug in a plus h. And now remember, this right in here is your x value. So anywhere you see x on this side, just plug in this mumbo jumbo. All right. So it's 5 then multiplied by a plus h squared plus 2 times a plus h minus 1. All we have to do is now simplify. Now the simplification might become a little harder because the algebra, uh, the algebra becomes a little harder, but it's not nothing that you cannot do. All right. So this you have to square you're basically multiplying a binomial by a binomial, right? So I'll do the work over here. So this is a plus h multiplied by a plus h, right? That's what a plus h squared is. So now when you see it this way, and I would always suggest anytime you see this pattern, two values added together in a parenthesis squared, always break it up into two binomials multiplied together because now you might see that, oh, right, I have to FOIL this, right? It's the first times the first, so that's a squared, okay? Actually, let me do it this way. It's the first times the first, so that is a squared. Then it's going to be the first times the outer one, okay? So that is now a h. Then it's going to be the h times the a. So that's, again, you can write it h a. I'm gonna keep it a h because I want it to look consistent, all right? And then it's gonna be the last ones, right? h times h. So that's just h squared. Okay, notice these two terms are in common, so I can basically add them together. So this would be a squared plus 2ah plus h squared. Wunderbar. Right, there it is. So that's what this whole thing is. Okay, then, so I'll plug that in now. So negative 5 multiplied then by a squared plus 2ah plus h squared plus now, this thing, right, I can do my distribution already. So this is 2a plus 2h, because you distribute the 2, and then minus 1. Now I can distribute the 5, a plus h. Right? Oh my goodness, this one's, a, this one's a long one. So now multiply the negative 5 and distribute it to each term inside that parenthesis. So there's going to be negative 5a squared minus 10ah minus uh, 5h squared plus 2a plus 2h minus 1. And just double check, can you combine any like terms? I don't think so. We can't factor anything out. So it looks like this will be the most simplified version of that answer. All right, but trust the process, guys. As you can see, the problem can get complicated, but if you just trust the steps, it's really not that bad. Thanks for tuning in. Please help us out, subscribe, that'd be great. Tell your friends, that's even more important actually. And uh, we look forward to helping you with more problems. Take care.